No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what kind of story you have, suffering is either captured you or chasing you or laying wait. And so we have to know. And how you know is that you have a human body with a mind, a brain, an education, you have experiences. You can know, oh my goodness, there is suffering. There is suffering and that suffering is not reasonable. It's not just a toothache. Although a toothache can be a pretty bad thing. If you've ever had one, you would never want to have another one. And yet, there is suffering. This is where Lord Buddha taught. This is where Lord Buddha started to teach. He said, look, look, don't pretend. Don't wear rose-colored glasses. There is suffering. But in that there is suffering, something is creating the suffering. This is what we have to remember. We have to use your intelligence and think, okay, why is this happening? Is this just happening because of rogue governments? Is this just happening because some people have penises and some people have vaginas? Is this happening? Why, why, why is this happening? This is a very important question. And the Buddha answered it. This is happening because we don't understand our own mind. We don't understand the complications that our mind produces in the way that our mind is working. We don't understand that our mind is actually giving you everything that you think is true, is going through the filter of your own mind. And if that filter of your mind is not working properly, you're not going to get the truth. And that's the story. We're not getting the truth. We're not even we're not even in the ball game because we don't understand our own mind. You remember, I say this all the time, you remember when your teacher in grade school told you, you don't even use a tenth of your brain. Well, that was really accurate, although it might not even be a tenth. We don't understand what's happening to us because we don't understand our own mind. So the Buddha taught that when your mind is not working well, your mind creates causes and conditions, actions and reactions that set you up to be vulnerable to suffering. The true nature of your mind does not produce suffering. But the ignorance and confusion of our mind and the assumption that we've got it all right and we know what's really happening here. And so we act based upon those conclusions that I am more important than you. My country is more important than your country. My opinions are more important than you. That whole system of assuming AO, I am first, and that you, other, are next is not correct. It's a mistake in perception. And as a result, there is Aleppo. And not only there is Aleppo, there is every kind of cause and condition that produces every kind of suffering, not only human suffering, animal suffering, and not only human animal, whatever suffering there is here in this world, flying in the air, running on the earth, swimming in the sea, or even in other worlds, wherever there is ignorance and confusion of not knowing the true nature of your own mind, there is suffering. Therefore, 
it is healable. We have to approach healing because the conditions that are a result of confusion and delusion are not acceptable. It's not like, okay, I'll take a small percentage of suffering. I can tolerate this much. It isn't tolerable. And it's not just you. This is the condition of ignorance. And it is changeable. That's why the Buddha taught, because ignorance is changeable. You can be freed from ignorance. You can be placed at a level of realization of wisdom. You can know your own true nature. That's possible. It's possible because you have a human body. Tragically, we don't have it very long. We have a certain number of breaths in this life. Misomenus, a little bit more or less dependent upon conditions. For example, if you have a short life, if you do special practices, meditations, if you make certain efforts, you can extend that. But none of us are able to eliminate death. And yet, there are great masters who accomplish a state of deathlessness. That's possible with wisdom and power. <clears throat> 